Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Friday, December the 8th. It's the first week in Advent, and week one in the Psalm Cycle. Thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. Amen. Psalms 16 and 17, and please recite them with me. Preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. I've said, you are my God, my good above all others. I delight in all the saints that are on the earth. But their sorrows shall increase that choose other gods. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take their names upon my lips. For you are my portion and my cup. It is you that maintain my lot. My boundaries contain pleasant places, and I have a goodly heritage. I bless you, for you have given me counsel. You also instruct me in the night. You are always before me at my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, my soul rejoices, and my body shall rest in hope. For you will not leave me in hell, nor let me see corruption. You show me the path of life, and in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Hear my cause, which is right, O God. Attend to my cry, and give ear to my prayer, which does not come from deceitful lips. Vindicate me, for your eyes see the truth. You have searched my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and find nothing wrong in me. I do not sin with my mouth like others. Because of your word I have kept from violence. Keep me in your paths that my feet do not slip. I have called on you, for you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to me and listen to my words. Show your marvelous loving kindness that you, you that save by your right hand, save them which put their trust in you from those that rise against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who circle about me. Their hearts are shut tightly and with their mouths they boast. Now they have surrounded us in our steps. They watch, waiting to strike me down. Like a lion that is greedy for its prey, like a young lion lurking in secret places. Rise, O God, disappoint them, and cast them down. Deliver my soul from the wicked by your sword. From those, O God, who are of the world, who find their reward in this life, who you fill with your treasure, they have abundance of children, and leave their wealth to their little ones. In my vindication I will see your face. I shall be satisfied when I awake to see your glory. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, beginning at verse 1. Once more Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. 
Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe, and he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Save us from our enemies, O God, and vindicate us. May we live not for this life, but for the world to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Allah. Amen. Almost slipped.